Hello, Cosplay World! We're back with a wonderful sewing project. I really enjoyed this. This is something I've worn several times. It's kind of a lighter costume, unlike my normal kind of armor work, which is kind of hot and a pain in the butt to walk around a convention in, typically. Uh, this is much more comfortable. <laughs> um, and doing sewing work is fun, even though I don't do as much of it as others do. Um, oh, well. Uh, <laughs> this is a... Kajinka, that's not like a lot of mainstream Kajinkas. A lot of times you'll see like a hoodie or a full body kind of sleeping thing. Um, this is more of a fashion Kajinka and the idea of turning a Pokemon into a humanoid form in a fashion sense. And it really, the design really appeals to me. I love all of, uh, Cowslip is the artist. I love all of her designs. Um, I was really tempted to do uh, the Sea King, but that's a bit beyond my sewing expertise so I wasn't going to chance that on ruining a ton of fabric but this was well within my wheelhouse and I was like yes I'm going to do this now there are quite a few parts so we're gonna breaking this down into four videos this first one we're gonna do skirts we're gonna continue over at final and then we'll be back for one more uh, on YouTube uh, next week but if you're looking to support us and everything we do, check out FinalCosmicCore.com and you'll see awesome goodness such as uh, more tutorials, extended version, whatever. You guys, guys, check it out. It's awesome. Thank you for all of your support, by the way. Ha! <sighs> Alright, now we have actually two skirts. When we break this down, we have two skirts. Uh, we have a circle skirt and we have a panel skirt here. And this panel skirt is not a particularly complex skirt. It simply is six rectangular panels that we're going to be sewing together into sets of three. So that we're going to take those three, those two sets of three, and then we're going to have... <sighs> okay, we're going to sew three panels together, and then we're going to sew another three panels together to get two kind of larger panels. There we go. Pretty straightforward. Um, the hard work we're going to have to do here is that there's just a lot of surface area, and then the edge is a handkerchief hedge. As you can see here, I've got to do this kind of by hand. Uh, the idea here is to pull up a bit of fabric and then roll it over as we stitch. Um, and this probably took up most of the time uh, of this particular section of the project. Um, just because I don't want to have a very heavy seam on the edge of my skirt, um, I'm doing this rolled edge. Uh, typically, what we do, do, what you would do, <laughs> is you would uh, fold over a piece once or twice, depending on how much you want to finish it, and then sew it down. But that would be much more noticeable. I want this to have a more clean look. However, because there's so much edge to it, there's so many panel sections. Uh, this takes quite a bit of time. I didn't, of course, uh, do the stitch along the edge of the seam where we uh, lock the three panels together, but. Basically, the rest of it is done up like this. Um, well, of course, except for the top. So a lot of my time was done was spent doing this. Ooh. <clears throat> so uh, the panels are all fixed together um, on a belt section. And we're going to, instead of having a zipper or some kind of hardware to uh, fix this together, this is a very old pattern design, we're actually just going to cinch it up on the side. Um, the openings are designed to be on the side um, to allow for an overlapping effect. As you can see here, we have the two panels overlapping. Once we uh, have, once we put it on, we're gonna have a similar kind of layered effect when the other, when the two ends of the fabric come, the two ends of the skirt come together. So we're going to just kind of pleat it up a little bit, uh, break it up a little, or yeah, pleat it up a little bit. Um, the belt loop is simply a, another big old rectangle that we finish the edge of first and then once that's done we're now attaching it to the piece. Uh, lots of pinning. Uh, if you guys don't sew you'll find that a lot of your time is actually in the prep work. The machine does all of the very nice uh, finish, uh, actually stitching, but a lot of the time you'll find is uh, drafting and cutting and pinning things together to make sure that they work. Um, so this, with this belt loop attached, we're going to do a uh, simple drawstring, and guess what? That's another rectangle, and uh, we're just going to fold over the edges to finish that off. It's not particularly difficult. There it is. Um, and it ends up looking sort of like a string because it balls up. It's not a huge deal. No one knows. Once you, um, 
once you knot it up, it just looks like a bow on the side of your, uh, your, your skirt here. And then we also have, of course, a additional skirt that goes over the top you see here. Um, <clears throat> now this is a actually simpler skirt. It's a circle skirt. And what is a circle skirt, you ask? A skirt made from a circle. So this is one continuous piece of fabric. Um, because this is a little bit short of a skirt, I was able to get the entirety of the skirt out of one piece of fabric. Sometimes you have panels, like four panels usually, um, but because it was, I had my fabric was just wide enough, I was able to not have to deal with that, and I just need to cut away the edges. Um, we're going to need to finish the top and bottom, obviously, uh, so that we can attach it, but the hole in the top is uh, wide enough for me to s simply slide it on. Or do I put it on over my head? I think I put it over my on over my head. And then we have a bit of um, uh, another tie off to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. <clears throat> so a lot of the actual work in this skirt is these bits, these pointy triangular-ish bits. Uh, the reason for this is that there's just a lot of them. The, instead of a nice smooth round edge, the entirety of the skirt is uh, trimmed in this way. Um, and rather than me going and trying to pin all these edges and then feeding them around in the sewing machine one at a time uh, because they're straight edges of about, I don't know, four inches, um, I'm simply going to be folding them down as I feed them into the sewing machine. I'm not going to bother doing the prep work of uh, stitching them down. Now, we do have a lot of tips and so that I'm going to fright check all of these tips to make sure that they're nice and stable. I don't need any little frays happening before I start sewing them down. This also helps so that I, the sewing machine can kind of grab onto the fabric and without me worrying about it coming loose later. Um, so once I get to either a tip or a valley, I stop the machine with the needle down, with the needle down, rotate the fabric, because the needle da is down, the, the needle will hold the fabric, and then continue on in a new direction. And uh, that's essentially how I do the entirety of that skirt. Um, <clears throat> we have, of course, there's a trim for the the uh, sash, and um, that is how we're going to be uh, kind of suturing, or sorry, tying it off. It's uh, fairly straightforward. Uh, we're going to add another tie uh, in the same way that we had the other skirts, but I don't know if I'm going to show you that because it's exactly the same thing. Um, <clears throat> The trick here is going to be uh, now uh, attaching the trim uh, because it's a circle. Uh, I have to be careful how I attach it because we don't want it to bunch up too much. Um, at, as you can see, I'm kind of pulling at it, stretching at it in various spots to make sure that it's an even kind of attachment. Uh, this will be on the top, so it will show. So I'm being a little bit more careful with it here. Um, <clears throat> Also, just because I want my stuff to look good. Generally, I don't like to have my my work look bad. So, um, taking a little bit more time to make sure we don't have puckering or dimpling in uh, with our stitching here. Um, so that's kind of uh, the it for it for the skirts. They're not particularly complicated. Uh, we're going to move on to the top section to one of the shirts, and they're kind of basically the same pattern. I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Or, or the shirts are gonna be the same pattern we just do it over and over again. Hey, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Good times to all. Hurrah. If you like this, you should check out finalcosmicore.com. There's lots of pretty cool stuff over there. See you guys next time. Good times to all. Hurrah. <laughs>